Leewood family wins a fight in what they now view as a war against the city all to, to, to keep their beloved dog. This is a story our I-Team first brought you last year. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez spoke with the family about the recent win and their hopes to keep this from happening to other pet owners. Good girl. Lucy has now lost her eyesight, but in the eyes of the city of Leewood, she remains a dangerous animal. She's never done anything wrong. Breed should not matter. It should always be the behavior of the dog, not the breed. Our I team first told you last April how Leewood considers anything that looks like a pit bull to be a dangerous animal. Christy was charged criminally for possessing a dog that looked too much like a pit bull, even though she presented evidence that Lucy was in fact predominantly boxer. Attorney Katie Barnett represents Lucy's owners who took the city to court when animal control attempted to take their family pet away. In January, a judge dismissed the case saying it was unconstitutional the way the city law was enforced and was written vaguely. You know, the judge was clear that any of the evidence that the city was relying on, which was essentially none, was dated. Declining to go on camera, Lee Wood's city administrator and attorney told KSHB 41 News on Wednesday that last month, behind closed doors, council members during an executive session chose to comply with the judge's decision by simply adding so-called objective standards set forth by the American Kennel Club and the United Kennel Club. The citizens of Lee would have to say, we don't want this anymore. We want our city council and we want our ordinances and laws to actually enhance public safety and not be based on these outdated assumptions. Lucy is still at risk of losing her home. We're going to do what we can to not only not only keep her with us, but to make sure this doesn't happen to other families. In Leewood, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.